It's another time that Kenyans have been put again into a tough situation whereby we are kind of tongue-tied, we are kind of uh, confused, we are kind of angered by this financial bill. And many Kenyans are waiting to hear from the responses of the members of the parliament, whether they are going to approve it or they are going to ensure its failure. Giving my opinion as Kennedy Franklin on this financial bill of 2024, we have always been walking around, traversing this country, educating Kenyans, giving Kenyans warning, sometimes even giving voter education, civic education, because we had preempted, we had foresaw the bad governance coming. But we were taken for granted. We were taken as a people who are tribal. We were taken as a people who want to take this country behind. And today, now we are seeing the bitter fruits of this regime. A regime that seeks to overburden the citizens. But again, it is now a bit late. If Kenyans are crying for them to be heard by this government, for me, I would be quite opposite. I know what Kenyans are expecting. They are expecting to see this bill failing. But to me, how I wish, and I'm sorry to say this, I always say that Kenya is now in a school. Kenyans are in school. Kenyans are learning. And they are learning now the hard way. Because when they are given an opportunity to elect good leadership that will ensure good governance to ensure that their lives are made better kenyans always misuse that opportunity now it has come to a time that they are now reaping what they sow we always say that cons choices have got consequences now it is now consequential of the choices that kenyans made in the last general election as Lewis, we have always been fighting for this country to ensure that we have got a country whereby people do not feel overburdened, whereby people do not feel isolated, whereby people do not feel like they are oppressed. But we have always been underrated, we have always been blackmailed, we have always been given names as the Luo community. And therefore, we are sorry that we would deceive and distance ourselves from this war. It is a bit late for Kenyans now to change things now. When you give a Kenyan voter an opportunity to vote, a Kenyan voter goes for handout, goes for tribalism, goes for fame. A Kenyan voter do not want to go for good leadership. This is the same, same government that you danced at. This is the same, same regime that you sang for. And you sang, Ni Mungu Sio Uchawi. I want to tell my brothers from Kikuyu land, that you, when you are crying that your businesses are not now doing well and the businesses are collapsing, you are the causative agents of your business not doing well because you supported the same regime. You thought that you were punishing a community that is the Luo community. But you never knew that a regime is for the whole nation. That a government is going to rule the whole nation. And therefore, when the government is not doing well, it is the, the whole nation suffering. Now, I wish that they pass that bill without any amendments the way it is, so that Kenyan voter can suffer and suffer and suffer more for them to learn a lesson. Because they have failed to learn the easiest way. Now let them learn the hardest way, so that when it comes to 2027, when we shall be granted another opportunity by the Constitution to go and elect our leaders, we are going to be cautious we are going to do an election that is full 
of carefulness. We are not going to do an election that is full of carelessness, tribalism, bribery, and all those. Let the Kalenjins who thought that when they voted in their guys, their guys will work for them. Let the Kikuyus who thought that when they voted against Raila, now Ruto will work for them. A president is a president of a whole country. And therefore, when the economy is bad, each and every person suffers. Economy has never been tribal. And this is the song that we have always been singing, that Kenyans should always unite for a better cause. But we always unite against a certain community for the sake of punishing them, mocking them, laughing at them, criticizing them. But now the economy is back laughing at us. I want to tell you it is late and nothing you will change. If you want to change Kenya, the economy situation of this country, you better wait for the next general election. Raila Odinga has been fighting for this nation quite a long time. But he has never been appreciated. He has always been called names. Oh, yule jamawa kitandawili. Oh, siji ajakatua. Siji oh, yule mjaluo. Yule mganga. All such kind of names. But you never saw what was coming. And I always make it clear that this government was a punishment from God. Without fear, this is a regime that was sent by God to come and punish Kenyans who are not listening when they are being taught. And that is why you see things are stuck, things are not moving. There is a, each and every sector. You hear how much has been lost. You hear people are being killed. You hear joblessness. The country is full of confusion. People are undergoing difficulties. People are jobless. People are not secured. People are being killed right, left and center. But we have got a regime. Reason, Kenyans had left God. Kenyans had left the right path. And they sought the wrong path. Until that day that Kenyans will wake up as a community to unite against bad regime. And to bring a change. But if we are still going to follow the tribal way, there is nothing that we are going not to change here. When a Kenyan is given an opportunity to vote, a Kenyan voter asks, how much do you want to give me for me to vote you? And therefore, what do you expect from a regime that had already bribed you to vote? When we are given an opportunity to vote, we are voting people who are giving us good handouts. Then they come into these banks, they take loans which they have to pay. So I don't know what Kenyans want. Until that day that you will wake up and understand what good leadership is. Good leadership is not handouts. Good leadership is not tribalism. Good leadership is not blackmailing. So until that day that Kenyans will come out to know what is good leadership. But if we are still languishing in, in handouts, then expect no change. I see you are crying for a change. The truth of the matter, nothing is going to change in this country until a voter changes the dynamics of voting. Until we change the patterns of voting. Until we change our understanding towards voting. But if we are still going to remain to vote as a formality, to vote as a tribe, to vote as, a, as a, a curse, to vote as a punishment that you are punishing somebody. There is not going to be any change in this country.